morning everyone <laughs> what a crazy place this is this is Elmer's Bottle Ranch on the way to San Bernardino uh, I think it's open the gate was slightly open there's no one about so I thought I'd come in <laughs> this is another one of them absolutely bizarre roadside attractions on Route 66 <laughs> what is it all about <laughs> Fantastic, I love stuff like this. That goes on for quite a way. So it's just bottle trees everywhere. And between them, there's all like weird artifacts. Oh, there's a couple of other people in here now. I don't feel like I've broke in. <laughs> Just stuff like that, look, bones. And yeah, it's really odd. <laughs> Do you reckon that's the real toilet in there? <laughs> My lord. Okay, now I think it is. No thanks. Look, there's a bit of an old bed up there. Berserk, isn't it? <laughs> That's the word to describe this. Berserk. I, like, I think the guy who put this together has died. But uh, I'd like to have met him. This one's really weird. It's like... Lots of bones. That's an old jawbone up there of an animal. Got an old rocket there. There's some beautiful mountains off into the distance. I think that's what you've got to get across to get into LA. Sorry, I ain't got me belt on. <laughs> so a few miles up the road, Emma Jean Holland Burger Cafe. And it's a bit of a famous one, this one. So it's been serving up meals to hungry travellers on Route 66 since 1947. Wow, proper little cat. Fantastic. Wow, this looks good. Sausage and egg sandwich. Absolutely delicious this. One of the best sandwiches on 66 so far. Um, and the potato thing they call country chips, which is a bit like a potato gratin. Really tasty. You've got a great story to tell us, haven't you? So, Quentin Tarantino, yeah. the director, filmed Kill Bill Volume 2 right here. After she's buried alive and does her famous death crunch and gets out of her coffin, yeah. she walks into this diner and asks for a glass of water. Wow, that is amazing. Eight seconds on the big screen. <laughs> Fantastic. Thanks for that. You're welcome. Cheers. I'm so pleased I come in here. So this t-shirt is signed by all the uh, cast of Kill Bill. And there's the actual scene, I don't know if you can see it. It's a bit of a reflection of the girl walking across the road. I remember it now. And there's a picture of Quentin Tarantino in this cap when they were filming it. Fantastic. What a place. I love it, uh, Tarantino. I'm just trying to get in the same place where he filmed it from. It's a busy old road. I don't want to get killed. Excellent, what a place. Right, I need to smarten myself up for LA and Vegas. I'm going to get a trim in Frank's Barbershop. 
so I've just had a nice trim in Frank's barber shop. Thanks, Frank. Right, so I'm in the town of Victorville, California, and there's a little uh, Route 66 museum, so I'm going to go in and have a look. Someone's nicked the shield. <laughs> Welcome to California. That's the old diner. I love these places. This is probably, I don't know, I haven't looked, but I think this is probably the last sort of museum type thing I'll be going in. Uh, but yeah, some really cool old bits and pieces. Oh, getting me excited for Vegas. <laughs> I read that before I come on this trip. What a fantastic book that is. So these are original road signs. There's the hula girl there and the cowboy there. And then... If you look up here, there she is, the hula girl, beautiful. And over there, you got the cowboy. Fantastic, they're keeping these bits safe inside here. What a great little museum this is. That white box there is the original end of the route um, station that used to be on the pier at Santa Monica. Uh, tomorrow, hopefully, I'll go to the new version, but that is the original. End of the trail. This, used, this, actually, this actual thing used to sit on the pier at Santa Monica. Don't take a curve at 60 per. We hate to lose a customer. <laughs> Perma shave. I love it. Just nonsense. So that is one of the original like teardrop campers. Uh, started producing these in the 30s, I think, when people started taking road trips. Um, brilliant, though. Look how well preserved this one is. You've got the little dining bit, and then uh, like a fold-out bit there, so you can have something to eat. This is original, and then uh, like round the side, <laughs> that's the little bedroom. Fantastic, with the little curtains on the window. That is an original teardrop trailer. So there's some of the um, original uniforms that the uh, gas station people used to wear. Philip 66, Shell. Look, they even had their own little uh, name tags on their rags. Eugene, Leonard, Joe. Fantastic. So that is Twin Arrows where I was the other day when they were both standing. So remember this little cabin, we'll see the new one tomorrow on the pier. So this is an original menu from Emma Jean Hollenberger's where I was earlier. Hot cakes, ham and bacon, 85 cents. I was just looking what's on the old jukebox. Love me tender, Elvis Presley. freeway I'm still following the historic route and it takes you through this way which is like the industrial part of town in San Bernardino a little bit sketchy but it's so stressful driving on that freeway it's getting so busy as you get nearer to LA so I quite like this way yeah 66 sign <laughs> So I'm in San Bernardino, there's lots of police sirens, <laughs> I've just drove through the hood, quite an experience that was, I wanted to come here and visit this place, the very first ever McDonald's, the original one. Wow, look at that sign, 15 cents for a hamburger at the first McDonald's ever. So that was Dick and Mac McDonald's opened the first ever one. 
Right, let's go in the first ever McDonald's. Oh look, a place to put my sticker. I'll be doing that in a minute. I think it is now a McDonald's museum. <laughs> but this is it. Welcome. <laughs> How mad is this? Uh, McDonald's museum. Every artifact. <laughs> Look, the old cups. The old uniforms. Wow. So it's got all the toys and gifts from all the different countries. Germany, Japan. Let's see if I can find the England one. So this is the England display. <laughs> There's a few little Happy Meal toys here. UK display. Do you remember any of these? <laughs> I don't. Scotland's got its own little display with a bottle of Iron Brew. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> There's so many things bringing back memories, but I remember them old uh, sort of like polystyrene type. Uh, containers so from the 1940s the famous beef burger with french fries 35 cents oh, it was really good looking around that museum um, and I met some guy that lives about five minutes from where I live back in the UK so I was talking to him for ages he, he lives in America now and uh, yeah, he, he was asking me so many questions because he ain't been back for many years. But uh, that is where it all started. The first ever McDonald's. So you can blame them. <laughs> but I love that old sign. Right, I'm in the San Bernardino. Slightly rough area, but I'll be fine. But there is only one place to stay when you're here. <laughs> and you know how much I love a wigwam so this is the uh, second wigwam motel on route 66 and uh, yeah I managed to book a room for the night this one's a little bit more uh, let's say nicer yeah the other one was alright but it was a little bit itchy and scratchy <laughs> but this one is really cool let's get you on wide angle uh, this one's even got a nice pole. I've just had a look. In fact, as soon as I've finished making this, I'm getting in there. I'll show you it. I shall be in there in about five minutes. Uh, yeah, well please. I thought, you know, me, me last night on Route 66, I've got to have a wigwam. <laughs> I've splashed out. I think this is about $130, so this is actually over a hundred pounds. But uh yeah, the alternatives round in here in San Bernardino are quite grim, I'll be honest. <laughs> but this is really cool. That's me, number six, right in the middle. I've already opened the door, so I ain't got to mess about with the key. Welcome <laughs> to my wigwam. Let's shut the door behind me, then we can see better. So, we've got a wigwam mirror. <laughs> A bed with granny covers, some 66 artwork, that's nice. A nice settee actually in this one. Coffee table, a little bit more, a little bit more to it this one, little fridge, TV, uh, and then go through to the old school bathroom, toilet, marble sink, <laughs> and an old school shower, fantastic. Uh, yeah, I'm well pleased with this. Last night on the road till I've reached Santa Monica. So I'm in a wigwam. Got me sun lounger and I've got the pool to myself. <laughs> Fantastic. Gonna jump in that right this very minute. <laughs> oh, tell you what, this is lovely. Oh, it's freezing cold in here. Bloody lovely it is. Feel like this is the first time I've relaxed on this trip. Oh, great. Right, I'm gonna see you a bit later. I'm gonna enjoy an hour around the pool. Of course I did. <laughs> it is totally out of control. I need help. I thought this place was only up the road. It's took me about half hour to get here through about, I don't know, 50 sets of traffic lights. Anyway, I really fancy some Italian tonight. 
So I'm going to try this place. It's a bit of a Route 66 uh, icon, Vince's Spaghetti. If the car park's anything to go by, I'm going to be hard pushed to get a table. Right, let's get in there. I'm starving. Wow, this is cool. Thank you. That's great, thanks. Wow, pretty cool place. All these little individual booths. It's absolutely mobbed in here. So I'm just reading the menu and the same Italian family have had this restaurant since 1945. So I went for the Vinci's set dinner, which I'll show you in a bit, but this is what you get first. A cup of soup and a salad. Looks nice. <laughs> this looks good. This is a half portion as well. Can you imagine the full size? Uh, right, so I've got the spaghetti with uh, Vince's special meat sauce. I added two meatballs, which are meant to be world famous. <laughs> and it comes with garlic bread. I am going to get stuck right into this. It looks delicious. Oh, mate. I'll tell you what. My mum does a good spaghetti sauce. But old Vince, I think he's got it. <laughs> oh, I hope I'm making you hungry watching this. These meatballs are unbelievable too. <laughs> I can't believe that this is a half portion. Trust me, I can put it away. Some would say that I can be a little bit greedy as well. And uh, yeah, I'm struggling here. Absolutely delicious. I'm so glad I stuck with it because this was quite a drive. I, halfway here, I actually thought about turning back, but uh, oh, really pleased I come here. <laughs> it is that good, I might have to get myself a seizure. <laughs> My last night on Route 66 and I'm in a wigwam. Uh, oh God, that meal I just had. That was fantastic. That was a great uh, last meal on the road. So I've still got like tomorrow to drive into LA and um, go to Santa Monica Pier, where it all ends. Um, but yeah, it was fantastic. What a, what a trip I've had. Unbelievable. I'll remember this for the rest of my life. And I'm so glad you've all come along with me. The comments have been funny. It's just, it's just been brilliant. Uh, but yeah, one last day, and then all the Route 66 people can uh, <laughs> can switch off then if they if they're bored. But I will be vlogging the last few days in Vegas because that's what I normally do the uh, the Vegas vlogs. So yeah, it's not quite over, but Route 66, we're 24 hours away from the end. Thanks ever so much. God bless you all. Here's my little wigwam for the night. <laughs> oh, that was my finger in the screen. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to bed. Good night, everyone. <laughs>